Hey guys, what's up? It's Moz here, and welcome back to another video. So just last week, I uploaded the best $500 PC build for the summer of 2017, and I saw a bunch of people talking about how they wish they could build something like that, because their PC is too slow and they can barely get 30 FPS on certain games. And because of that, I decided to make a video on how you can make your computer faster, and how you can get more FPS in general, so this video should be perfect for the casual computer user and a gamer, but anyways, please do leave a like if this video does end up helping you out. Hitting 500 likes would be awesome. Also, I will have my post notification shout out towards the end of the video, just so that it doesn't get in the way of the tutorial, but anyway, Anyways, let's get on with the video. I actually made a video similar to this back in 2016, but I feel like it wasn't produced that well. So hopefully this one is way better. But anyways, the first thing I want you guys to do is just hold the Windows key down on your keyboard and it should have the Windows logo on it. It's usually on the left or right of the space bar. And then just with a different finger, just tap the R key for like recycle or something like that. And you should see a little box appear kind of like the one I have open right here. And if that doesn't show up, then you can just go down here and just type in RUN for run. Just click it and you're back there. So once that does open up, I want you to type in this exact thing. Uh, the percent symbol, which is shift and then number five on your keyboard, and then T-E-M-P, and then the percent symbol one more time. From there, click on OK. So once you get here, you're gonna see a ton of random folders and a bunch of like .dat files. And these folders and files are essentially just a bunch of junk files on your computer that your computer doesn't use anymore, but you did use them like at one point in time. It could have been a month ago, two months ago, a week ago, a year ago. Just everything in here was used a couple of times before. and then your PC never touched it again so it's 100% fine to delete everything in here as you're not going to be losing anything that has any importance to you at all so to delete that all you have to do is you can go all the way to the top and you can highlight everything all the way down or a fast way you can do it is just hold control on your keyboard and then tap a and then it just highlights everything from there just right click on anything and then click on delete it might tell you that these are too big to recycle so you just go ahead and hit yes I want to permanently delete them but if this ever shows up and it says like it can be completed because it's open or something like that just click on do this for cr all current items and then click on skip from there it should delete everything else that's currently not being used or hasn't been used in a really long time so as you can see this is it like we don't we barely have any like things in comparison to what we used to have now and so everything that's still here that's still being used like somehow by our computer but everything else like we were able to delete and we cleared up a ton of space from that so the next thing i want you guys to do is while you already have this open go down here and click on this pc it could be my pc or my computer or something along those lines and from there right click on your c drive and you'll know it's your c drive if you see the little letter that says c right here and usually your local disk is just a normal c drive like the one that has the windows logo on it so right click on that and then click on properties and from there click on disk cleanup uh this is just going to calculate how much storage you're able to clear up on your pc from there just go ahead and click on every single thing that you see here so so there you go and as you can see just doing this is going to clear up 2.4 gigabytes from my computer but there's a really big chance you could clear up even more from yours because i just deleted a ton of temporary files which would have been getting deleted right here so from that percent temp percent folder we basically already deleted everything that would have showed up here so technically you can skip this step and just come here so i think i would have been deleting over 30 gigabytes but anyways from there just go ahead and click on ok and then you will see this pop up right here so just go ahead and click on delete files and give it a couple of minutes because it does have to go through and delete as many files as as you're trying to clear up i do want to mention that just like the temporary files these are files that you won't be using or needing so it's pretty safe to delete them all right awesome so once you're done letting it delete everything which is wasting space on your hard drive just go ahead and click on the tools tab right here and from there just go ahead and click on the check button from there click on scan drive and let it scan your drive so right now it's just scanning our hard drive for any system errors or anything you might need to fix so since i do have an ssd it shouldn't take more than maybe a minute so don't worry if yours doesn't finish as fast as mine does just give it time and it will be worth it in the end and as you can see my drive was successfully scanned and no errors were found but uh, if your drive did have an error it should show you them and how you can fix them so definitely check this about once a month i know it can be easy to forget something because it's such a small task but in the end it's definitely worth a few minutes to just scan and see that everything's all good but anyways once you're done with that you can close out of that and then from there just click on the optimize button right under the check button that we just clicked all right awesome so from here we can actually optimize all the hard drives inside of our computer keep in mind that you only want to do the ones that have letters on the right of them like the c right here the d right here and the e right here so if you have any that don't say like a letter on them then don't do anything with them but optimizing a hard drive is essentially just what it sounds like it basically helps you run your computer more efficiently um so my optimizations are scheduled to happen weekly as you can see right here and I think yours is going to be similar to that. But anyways, there really isn't much of a point of optimizing your solid state drive. So if any of these on your computer do say solid state drive, um, then don't worry about optimizing them. But if any of them just say hard disk drive, then go ahead, click on it, and then click on optimize and give it time. Let it optimize, click on the next one, click optimize, give it time, let it optimize. But don't be worried if one of yours don't say solid state drive. It totally just depends on your computer. But mine does, so that's just how mine's built. Um, so as you can see, Windows does automatically optimize my SSD for some reason. Um, but 
you don't have to force it. So this step will be incredibly beneficial if you do use like a hard disk drive as your main drive on your PC. But anyways, just again, go through each one, hit optimize unless it's a solid state because then you don't have to. Once you're done optimizing, you can close out of everything. And then, so just close out of that. Uh, you can close out of this. One thing you can do is just go through each drive, click on tools, then check them for hard disk errors in case you do have more than one drive. But anyways, once you're done with that, go up here and type in control panel. You only have to type in the word control and then control panel should show up from there. And once you're over here, what you want to do is go up to the top and just type in power and just wait until you see power options and once you do see it just go ahead and click on it and from there you want to click the one that says high performance and just like mine your computer will probably already be on the balanced one that's recommended but what you want to do is click high performance because then your pc is going to use all of its resources that aren't normally used so it can run way faster and also deliver like higher fps for any of the games that you play so the reason i'm going to switch back to balance is because i know my computer runs fine so i don't have to but i highly recommend changing yours to high performance if you have like an older pc or it's just running really slow but mine's fine so i'm just gonna keep it on balance from there we can go back to the control panel and from here what we want to do is type in advanced and once we do that we want to click the view advanced system settings button right here make sure you're in the performance box which is the first box then click on the settings button so from here click on adjust for best performance and then click on apply and then click on okay so what i'm going to be doing is just i'm going to quickly cancel that out, that out and go back to what mine was but essentially switching your computer to the best performance option will make it so that windows disables all the animations on your pc which make it look a bit cooler but the animations really aren't that needed and they do slow down your pc a ton and your pc uses resources that it doesn't need to be using just to do like silly little fades fade outs transitions and things like that um it's definitely worth it to just put it to the best performance because your pc will see a huge increase in speed and performance and if your windows theme does look funny or older i just want you to know that the simple act of changing the look of your operating system will increase your pc performance by a super noticeable amount so if you really are that kind of person who cares that much about like how your windows looks then just go ahead and leave it at adjust for best appearance right here but trust me it's really not that worth it because i'm telling you right now your pc is going to run that much faster if you just change it to best performance anyways guys once you're done with that just click apply okay and that's really it for the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy here's the post notification shout out from my last video if you do want one just hit the bell icon below and after you're done subscribing so it looks like the one that i've circled here and uh, yeah that's really it for the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to hit that like button if you did subscribe because i'm almost at 60,000 subscribers and i hope it's appreciated but other than that i'll see you guys in my next one peace